<coughs> All right, guys. Um, ben here. Uh, I uh, thought of this over the weekend. Um, if you have, if you found yourself here, uh, you've uh, <coughs> you're possibly an MMA fan, um, possibly not an MMA fan, just seeing what what the hell's going on, on this YouTube. Um, myself, my friend Neil, have, have set up a podcast page, but we're also going to try and try and push out some content that perhaps would be a little bit unique to your typical podcast setting. Um, today, for example, I uh, appreciate most people that are going to watch this, if, if not everybody, is stuck in quarantine um, or isolation or lockdown or whatever whatever you want to call it. So also appreciate that people are you know not likely to be forking out money to pay for UFC Fight Pass necessarily. Um, people might be casual fans and um, may have a little bit of a vampire-esque urge for blood and be interested in watching quick fights. So what I thought I'd do is stitch together a quick video of uh, my top five fights available for free on YouTube right now. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to I'm gonna jump in here. So all five of these fights are one, one more click away <coughs> down below in the, in the subscription. Or, or two more clicks. If, uh, as I said, we're trying to get a trying to get this podcast off the ground. So, if you can click subscribe before you click these uh, these links to the fights, that would be greatly appreciated. Maybe you like listening to uh, some in depth fight talk. Uh, maybe you're not a fan of fights and you'd like to learn a little bit about the fights. We'll cover some casual stuff on this this channel as well for you newbies. Um, <coughs> but anyway, without further ado, here's my top five fights available on YouTube for free right now. So. Um, fight number one, I was trying to stick to official videos only um, for this. So that being fights uploaded by UFC or by Strike Force or Bellator or whatever, wherever it might be. So as there's a zero percent chance that it might get taken down at a later date. Um, I've included this one. It's not officially uploaded, but it is on YouTube and seems to be uploaded on YouTube for, for quite some time. It has about 60,000 views. So plus it's possibly my favorite fight of all time. So. I wanted to put this one on first because if you're still listening, you're very likely to at least watch one fight. So fingers crossed, it's uh, it's this one. So um, Nick Diaz versus Paul Daly was a strike force fight in uh, 2011. Nick Diaz was the undefeated um, strike force welterweight champion. Uh, I know nowadays the UFC very much have a monopoly over um, over MMA to an extent, um, unless you're really really deep in MMA, you, you know, you, you, you know, that's water promotions, but, um, back in the day, <clears throat> wasn't the case with strike force. Strike force had some serious talent, Luke Rocco, Chris Weidman, so on and so forth. Uh, one of the biggest ones was, um, the older brother of Nate Diaz, Nick Diaz, who, uh, who at a time I could not imagine Nate surpassing Nick in terms of stardom. So we're going back, uh, we're going back nearly 10 years now at this fight. Um, it's one of the craziest fights you'll ever see, and it's very short. I think the entire video, including all the <clears throat> name announcing and walking in and stuff, is only about 12 minutes. So if you've got 12 minutes to spare, um, Nick Diaz versus Paul Daly, uh, Strike Force 2011. It's the first link down below. Click it now. Get yourself some violence. Get some violence in your life. You, uh, you cannot go wrong with that fight. So, um, fight number two. So the first of the officially UFC uploaded fights. Um, I've never seen a free fight get taken down from the UFC, so hopefully they, they honor that. Um, this fight was pretty recent. It was in November 2019. Um, Kevin Lee, who's a, a top lightweight contender, he's uh, had mixed results of, of late. Actually lost, um, I think, two or three weeks ago now. I, I, I can't tell. I couldn't tell you exactly if it's two or three weeks ago now. Uh, these lockdown days have blurred together a little bit. Um, but Kevin Lee fought in UFC Brasilia, which was the first event, I think the only mixed martial arts event to take place behind closed doors, that being with no crowd. Um, he lost the fight, but the fight before um, he won in New York in devastating fashion. He fought Gregor Gillespie, who was an undefeated prospect. Um, I think Gregor was 12 or 13 and 0 going into the fight. Uh, could have been 11 and 0, but uh, still undefeated in, uh, in MMA. Um, I don't want to completely ruin the fight, uh, but Kevin Lee kicks Gregor Gillespie's head into the fucking 18th row in the second round. Um, could be the first round. Fuck it. I said I'd one take this. I don't care. One of the rounds. Stick it on. It's only. It's a very short fight, so stick it on. But at one point during that <clears throat> during that fight, you're going to see a head kick that will uh, make your knees weak. Uh, 
in a bad way. So anyway, moving swiftly on. I'm going to bring you way back now with this one. So this one is, uh, this is back when I was first uh, getting into MMA. A fight that would have kicked my fandom forward. Um, George St. Pierre, <clears throat> um, GSP versus Matt Serra. Um, GSP obviously is a legend. Uh, Matt Serra, another legend, not quite the same legend from a career perspective as George St. Pierre is, but uh, a legend in MMA nonetheless. Um, this was their first meeting. So Matt Serra had won the Ultimate Fighter, which was basically a season for failed contenders to come back and win a title shot because there was a lack of contenders in the welterweight division at that time. Um, Matt Serra won that, that uh, Ultimate Fighter. Not, not by fluke, but he certainly wasn't the, the favorite at the end of the show. He beat uh, Chris Lytle in the, in the final to, to earn his title shot. Um, he came in as a massive underdog against George St. Pierre. And um, if you don't know what happened, click the link below. Um, if you do know what happened, still an incredible fight. So click the link below again. Um, so uh, number four or number two, whatever way you're, you're, you're counting down. Um, <clears throat> Forrest Griffin versus Stephen Bonner. Uh, number one, so the Ultimate Fighter finale, season one, the Ultimate finale. Uh, Forrest Griffin, the future champion. Um, we didn't know at that time. I never expected him to be champion myself, to be honest. But he fought with uh, Stefan Bonner. They went the distance. Um, amazing fight. Um, arguably saved MMA. Um, I think this fight was back in 2005. So <clears throat> we're coming on 16 years. Or sorry, we may just be at 16 years. I think it was. I think it was in April in 2005. So. It was their 15 year anniversary, so we're into the 16th year of this fight's existence. Um, these two guys went to war for a contract, um, and they both ended up winning contracts. But uh, I've watched that fight four times, I think, um, and every time I've scored the fight for Bonner. Close, but I've scored it for Stefan Bonner every single time. So I'd be extremely interested if, if, anyone, if anyone clicks that fight and gets it watched. Um, put your judge's hat on for me, please. And, uh, let me know. Let me know what way you, you scored that fight. Um, and the last fight, so number one or number five, whatever, no particular order. Um, so we almost got Justin Gaethje versus Tony Ferguson this weekend, which I'm uh, upset about, but I can understand, obviously, given the global pandemic. Uh, Justin Gaethje, however, is a gem in MMA, and I mean an actual gem in MMA. I, I read him the day he retired. Um, he. Uh, Every fight he's had in the UFC has been an absolute brand burner or a first round KO. This was his debut in the UFC. Uh, he was <clears throat> 18 and 0, I think, a three time defending champion in a, in a previous organization before he joined the UFC. He came in to fight Michael Johnson, who has had mixed results, a two way class since this fight. Um, honestly speaking, I think this fight might have changed Michael Johnson, possibly. Uh, it, it would definitely have changed me if I was involved in this fight. Um, but a uh, crazy fight. Uh, Fight of the year in 2017, in my, my mind, anyway. Um, and that's the, the fifth thing down below. So <clears throat> give that a click. If you, are a fan, if you are a fan and you've watched this and watched all five fights, then you're in the right place. Um, and, uh, and look, I appreciate, uh, appreciate any, any and all support. So um, if you guys give us a, a, a subscribe, a like, a share, or whatever it is, give us a follow on Instagram. Um, we're at transatlantic underscore MMA on Instagram. And P Atlantic MMA on Twitter. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, be hearing from you guys. Um, hope you enjoy the fights, and uh, it's been good talking to you. Cheers.